All right, so we can walk through my shop. Here's a 65 we're going to work on for a client. 55 Iris Blue Beetle, really nice. Here's my 51 split window. Anybody want them? He's for sale. And then this one over here, check this guy out. Um, I don't usually, you know, get into these Beetles. It's a 68 Beetle. Found this car two minutes down the street from me, right by my house. And it's a semi-automatic, again, not a huge fan of that. But this car is actually, it's an old original car, never been restored. Um, if you notice, oh, this fender, the back fender, this fender over here, and then even that other fender back there are all banged up. It seems like the original owner to this car actually drove by ear. Why did I pick up this Beetle? Because it's actually a Euro model. And I like the Euros. So, 68 Beetle. So, still had the hard dashboard in Europe. Okay, really cool. And it still has the original seat upholstery and original headliner. Carpet was a little tattered up, so I did start tearing that out. But, uh, this car is so solid. I mean, you, you, come, you step into this car, you go back in time, and the smell is, is just, it's so funny. Uh, but they, had, they still had the low back seats in Europe, and the headliner is actually like near perfect. So I said, wow, I gotta grab this thing. It's pretty cool, it's quirky, I know it's a semi-auto, and she runs like a champ. So I'm still undecided what to do with this thing. I don't know if I should paint it, or just leave it the way it is. I, I get arguments with both ends of it, but so for now, she sits in my shop, um, you know, she's also, I mean, everything's on the market. Anybody wants to take a stab at it and would like to buy it, you're more than welcome to give me a shout. But um, yeah, pretty cool car. What's really sweet about this car is that the odometer says just under 22,000 miles. Now, I have no documentation to back that up. The seats look like 22,000 miles. They don't look like 122,000 miles. When I checked this motor, first of all, the compression is phenomenal on the motor. That's number one. Number two, when I check the end plate, there's none. So, and I don't think this thing's ever been out of the engine compartment. The tar boards are still the original tar boards. Uh, the seal is still the original seal here. I mean, you can really tell that this has not been tampered with. Um, so, is it really 22,000 original miles? I don't know but um, it's a good shot. And here she is here, a pride and joy. This was a car that, I, that contacted me last winter. It's a 52 Zwitter ragtop. This is practically holy grail stuff here, you see guys. Uh, rare car, especially with the ragtop. Um, this is what everybody wants. Everybody wants a split with the ragtop. And uh, Zwitter is uh, my favorite uh, split different from, say, the earlier splits like this. This is the a crotch cooler split. This has 16 inch rims and also has these doors here, crotch coolers. For one year they did that from mid 51 to mid 52. Uh, as you can see, no vent window in the earlier splits. You got the double glove box, okay? Uh, so, but once they came to October 52, they turned to the Zwitter. And the Zwitter went to the 15 inch rims as you see, and vent window in the doors, chrome garnishings in the windows, and you started going to the oval dashboard. Suspension was also upgraded in these years, so you started to go into the oval era, and uh, you know, the bumpers changed, they got rid of the rib bumpers, it's more of a solid bumper now. Uh, the horn grills changed from circular to egg-shaped, um, so Really cool features that are on the Zwitter. The Zwitter was a six month only model Beetle. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Uh, and I like the garnishings. I like the chrome in the windows and such. And uh, the updated suspension, it rides a lot smoother. So, uh, but we're just about wrapping this sucker up. And uh, this is a, turned into a client's car. Uh, so we should be finishing up this car uh, just about today, probably made in voyage today to take it for a drive. And the color of this car is a color that was offered during the split era called Bordeaux Red, L51. Beautiful, beautiful color. One of the best colors VW would probably put out. Um, and then when you put a nice 
high shine on it and uh, a couple coats of clear you really make it pop um, when you drive on the road with this car uh, people are, are floored uh, turn a lot of heads here's the rag top that we just finished installing and as we get into the interior another signature uh, signature kit of ours uh, from so fine so this is oatmeal tweed material uh, it's a cloth brown piping brown strip on the bottom very similar to what they would have offered back in uh, back in the day uh, they would have probably had like a herringbone German cloth and such um, uh, but we went with the tweed this is what the client wanted as well and uh, there she is beautiful material here's the dash I love the push button start that they had these years banjo steering wheel Got a radio delete in there, so no radio, no antenna. Well, the Zwitter is the only year that had the ashtray without the chrome bezel around it. After that, 53 uh, oval windows would have had a little handle here. And then once they went with 54, then the chrome bezel went around the ashtray. This German square weave carpet that we pick up from Wolfsburg West. We always pick up the partial tray and a little cup holder there. Those are pretty cool accessories. We have the back seat out now because we're still working on the electric. So, but here's an idea. It's the backrest, back window, headliner material. Nice pop-out windows. Again, these are brand new aftermarket pop-out windows. Pretty cool. Now my client op opted to get dual filament bulbs mounted on the rear of this car so we're putting a new kit on here uh, a little problematic at first to get it hooked up but um, you know to get the housing to fit over this uh, so this might be some modification we have to do to the bulb holders so uh, but for safety features he wanted a dual filament bulb so the lenses can act as uh, brake and running light at the same time and here's the motor all right, so this is a 25 horsepower motor that was actually upgraded to a 36 horse. Uh, to do that, you would have to machine the block to put the 36 horsepower pistons and cylinders on. Uh, but overall, it's still a 25 horsepower block, still correct for this year. Pretty cool car. We should be ready for springtime, showtime, and uh, having a good time on the road with the top back, split window. You can't beat it. And check this out. We are finally branding our cars. Each car that we restore will now get a badge like this. It's basically a symbol of our work. It's pretty cool. That's the video for this week. Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com